I'm Dominic Stevens. The New Zealand economy is in quite a mixed position at the moment with a slowdown in domestic spending, consumption and the housing market offset by a very strong export sector and a government that's dropping quite a lot of money on the economy. Now that mix of drivers is reflected in the mix of regional outlooks as summarised by our regional roundup released this week. For most regions, we would expect to see a little bit of an improvement in economic activity over the coming year as that government spending starts to kick in. But beyond that, we would expect the slowdown to resume. Now within that average, we'd expect Auckland and Canterbury to be a little bit weaker. Canterbury because the rebuild is still winding down, and Auckland because it's more exposed to the consumer side of the New Zealand economy, and because it may be more exposed to that housing market slowdown. Now the housing market downturn is going to affect a couple of other regions in a more subtle fashion. Otago, Hawke's Bay and Gisborne have not yet felt the, the full effect of the housing market slowdown. When they do, it will affect car consumer spending in those regions. The thing is though, those regions are also exposed to some of the good stuff going on in the export industries in New Zealand, so it is a bit of a mix. Export success is certainly going to drive a few other regions to perhaps outperform the national average, top of the South Island and, and Bay of Plenty in particular, due to their exposure to horticulture which is booming at present. Wellington's the last uh, region with a really interesting outlook. It's not got a great deal of export exposure, but it is exposed to uh, government spending which is ramping up, and so I think Wellington's got quite a positive outlook relative to the national average. Talk to you next week.